in something of an upset, Edgar Alvarez stops Sergey Kovalev in the seventh round to win the WBO Light Heavyweight Championship of the World. So as always, I may or may not be an expert, but I am a longtime fan with an informed and knowledgeable opinion. First of all, let's be, be honest. You might have foreseen Edgar Alvarez outboxing Sergey Kovalev. And I say might have, but I'm pretty sure you didn't see him stopping Sergey Kovalev. But that's what happened. Alvarez landed a right hand in the seventh round that dropped Kovalev pretty much out of nowhere. I was shocked when it happened because I wasn't expecting it to happen. I don't think anyone expected that to happen. And that right hand might have been the most impactful right hand or even punch since Juan Manuel Marquez separated Manny Pacquiao from his senses in their final fight in their series. But it kind of gets in the way of the fact that it, up to that point, it was actually an interesting and compelling fight. I thought the first round was your typical, you know, feel out round. Neither Kovalev or Alvarez really took initiative in that round, in my opinion. Uh, I have no problem scoring rounds even, so I scored it even, but if I had to give it to someone, I'd probably give it to Alvarez, that is maybe slightly better. Then in rounds two and three, Alvarez won those rounds. He's the better boxer of the two, and it showed in those two, in those two rounds. <clears throat> even in round three, you can kind, of, kind of see the fight shifting to Kovalev, who, I'm gonna say this, I've never been overly impressed by his boxing skills. He has a lot of power. He's a good boxer. Um, and I think his performance against uh, Andre Ward in the first fight, I think he went way beyond his normal ability. And he probably should have won that fight, but that's not here, here nor there. Um, but you know, his power is getting through in rounds four, five, and six, even, even in seven. And then, of course, in the seventh round, when Alvarez lands a right hand uh, and Flores Kovalev scores two more knockdowns before the fight is, is ended and Edley Alvarez is the new WBO light heavyweight champion of the world. The win by Alvarez really, really changes the, the landscape of the light heavyweight division. I believe last night's card with the Cole of Alvarez fight and the Dimitri Bovell Isaac Chalimba fight before that was meant to set up a future fight between Bovell, who, who won his fight, and Kovalev, who of course didn't. Uh, both Kovalev and, and, and Bovell are promoted by main, events, by main events, so that fight would have been pretty easy to make. Um, just a little context. Alvarez is promoted by a, a Montreal-based promoter named Yvonne Michel. Uh, Alvarez from Columbia fights out of out of Montreal. Michelle also promotes uh, Arthur Berbia, who holds a claim to the lightweight championship, and Adon Stevenson, who holds a claim to the lightweight championship. And as you probably know, Alvarez has been Stevenson's mentor for quite a while, and Stevenson's been keep buying him out. And so there's a sense that maybe Michelle's protecting Stevenson from Alvarez. Um, but the result really changes the, the, the landscape of the light heavyweight division. So. That's how I saw the fight. How did you see the fight? Please let me know in the comment section down, down below. If you like this video, like what I do on Sports Talk with Troy, please subscribe. It really helps me out. And as always, I may or may not be an expert, but I am a longtime fan with an informed and knowledgeable opinion. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll talk with you in the next video.